What's up, folks? It is post Starbucks break, mid afternoon on Wednesday, day three. Mm. Is that your Starbucks, Eric? <laughs> no. No. Mine is. Mine's all mm. right in here. Ooh, that smells good. All right, guys, you ready to go hit it for another day? Yes. So this is the breakfast lounge. We're gonna head out to the warehouse and keep working. All right, dude, dad. Okay. <laughs> babe, 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 babe. Beginning of day three. Yes. Chris, who do you want over there on that? What's How many that? guys do you want with you? Give me an operator and a, and a, and a labor. Okay. All right. Um, so I'll take. If so you want, I'll take Micho. I'll take Micho and, and Johnny. If you want your team, sure. We'll start working that. Yeah, and That'll maybe De Generic can bounce back and forth. Like what we need to do right now is I want to flip this forward, and we're gonna have to do some reshape just by shovels. So let's flip this liner forward until we can get basically have access to this this flat section here with shovels. So we just have to flip that forward. And other thing, guys, Chris. Let's actually flip this liner forward now and get this trench dug in for a clean out pump. We want to do a little bit of a sink, a sunk and depression for a clean out pump so we can rinse faster. All right, we got things happening. Right now we got one of the biggest boulders we've set in so far going in. Chris is in the machine and we're getting this thing to set in so that we have like a cool backdrop to this fountainscape. So it looks like it's grounded and sunk down in. I, one, things that, one of the things I don't like about these fountainscapes is when they look like they're just perched on top of, just set on top of things. I like when they look like sunken in, well grounded, half the thing is, you know, down in underneath in the lower portions of whatever's around it. So that's kind of the concept we're going with this big border that's getting set in right now. As soon as that is in, that will give us some nice height. It, and it will also double up to serve as a good wall to build up our berm where we're gonna build the waterfall for this pond on the back side of that border. All right, so we got this big boulder strapped up. The idea with this big, like, tabletop tall boulder is to kind of frame our stepping stones have come across here. And I kind of want this like big column here that will kind of frame out that entrance from the stepping stones under the land again, onto that patio. So we're bringing that thing in here, it's massive. Unhook it, bring the machine closer, hook it back up and uh, get it in. We're definitely maxing out our reach with the machines with some of these big rocks. Hey Chris. Hey. Are you gonna leave that like that? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Looks like crap. <laughs> you just in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> it's amazing. You think you look wow. good when you look in a mirror. <laughs> it's funny that he, was... it's funny that he went right to you and not to the pond professor. <laughs> <laughs> right? He knew he knew better. He, than did, he goes. He was less <laughs> violent. Yeah. He gets that's, the, that's, the, that's, that's the the best way to like erode confidence and in, in this artistic <laughs> stuff. Just go, you gonna leave that like that? <laughs> yeah. You done with that? That's why it's so much fun working with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, folks? It is post-lunch, about an hour. We're pretty well done getting the, ba the base of this whole stepping stone area in. Brian is over here finessing this rock, making sure Four and three quarters. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. You think? Yeah. <laughs> That's flirting. I'll make that one a little lower just in case. Sure. So he's getting that thing just right, because the goal is that we get the water level at the exact perfect height, so that we have just barely, like, water pretty much coming up right to the bottom of that cap there. Just like half an inch below. So that means we have to get this rock exactly right. And really the only way to do that 
is with a laser level, so you need one of them. Anyway, we got uh, these stepping stones going through. This uh, kind of like that's a pillar boulder there. Comes out over here. We're gonna set one more step on top of those blocks. And there'll be like a clean edge to the water. There's your final destination over there by the shed. And we're gonna get a little secret little falls going on right there in that little crevice. Maybe do a flogger down in there or something too. But uh, we're making good progress. The goal is to get to the point where we can put water in this today. All right, what's up, folks? It is post Starbucks break, mid afternoon on Wednesday, day three. Mm. Is that your Starbucks, Eric? Nope. No. Mine is. Mine's all mm. right in here. Ooh, that smells good. So anyway, we are working on prepping this seam between the pond liner and the stream liner, so we can build the waterfall up in that area. Chris is over here humping these. Uh, the salt columns into place. How's it going, Chris? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good, man. We're um, actually super excited to use these, and and for the first time since the Sandbox Studio is getting going, we're doing fire and water out of these. So using them to their fullest potential, and uh, we're going to do a cluster of three of them along the um, stepper pathway, and then we're going to we're going to run two along the stepper pathway, and then we're going to put a third one over here to kind of give that asymmetrical look, but using the power of uh, numbers, power of yeah, threes. Exactly. So I'm excited to use them too. We've never yet used them at home. So this is like a big research thing. We're hanging bowls, we're doing koi windows, now we're doing these. I'm gonna go home and like build this whole thing in my house. When you do, I'll come help you, but not with these, because these are heavy. <laughs> you can sit on the lawn chair while that's happening. I'm super excited, dude. Your design is, is pretty awesome. Um, I love the interactivity of it. And it's just very, it's unique. We haven't done a lot of these things that we're doing in your design uh, so far. So I'm glad that you're raising the bar um, and really showing everybody what you guys are capable of. So it's awesome, man, it's coming together. Thanks, Chris. I'm not known to try everything, right? Who's this guy back here? Is he new? Shut your even, mouth! I don't even work here, I just walked in and got the shirt. <laughs> Put the shirt on. So what we gotta do here with seaming, it's a bit of a two-step process. We gotta put this primer on, which gets it nice and soft and sticky. And then uh, we put down a double-sided seam tape all along the edge, right? And then as soon as that's on, we bring our streamliner in over top, stick it to the double-sided seam tape, then we do another cover tape on top of that yet. So it's pretty uh, multi-step. All right, so we are getting ready to put on our streamliner here. Go ahead. What time is it, Brian? Jeez, it's got to be <laughs> at least nine o'clock. Nah, it's probably uh, it's probably nine-ish. Is it? I don't know. Eight thirty. Eight, eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock. Uh, you know how you love you know how you love you love your job. <laughs> You're still building at eight o'clock when you don't have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. But man, what a push, huh? Yeah, we did a lot today. We last night we literally said if we could get to here and get the liner seamed, we'd be good. And you pushed hard and got all the way up to the point where now we can put the spillway in and button that stuff up over there. It looks good. We shut the lights off. Mm -hmm. We got to see where we need to put a couple extra additional lights. We got a bunch of stuff rinsed down over in here. So I think what's nice is tomorrow, like I would love to see tomorrow like finished finished. Yeah, exactly. So instead of Friday morning, Messing around with dusting and cleaning and everything. Like Friday, just be relaxed and party. Just hang day. out. Yeah. You know? Well, Thursday night, hang out. Yeah, exactly. Like let's sit by it and enjoy yeah. it because because I leave Friday and I don't get to hang out with you. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> I love how that came together up there. 
those rocks were probably zero degrees, if not less. It's still freezing. It's nuts. It takes them forever to thaw. A lot of the detail stuff came together down here. We're basically down to the point of just rinsing here, and then tomorrow's the moment of truth when we start filming it. <laughs> I like how you can't, you won't be able to see. You'll, you'll be able to see the white water action at the bottom of that falls from here, but you won't be able to see where it's coming oh, from. Yeah, you really enjoy creating that mystery. Yeah. You know, and like that tree yep. blocking some of this exactly. is nice. Exactly, intentionally blocking. Yeah. So then you come back here, it's a mess right now. Right there is where our waterfall will be. Greg and the guys are up there playing volleyball. I think I'm gonna go get cleaned up and go join them. <laughs> Good morning. So beginning of day four, cup of coffee number 37 maybe, not sure. 